By the mid-60s, escalating road deaths and injuries were a topic of national debate. Political activist Ralph Nader published Unsafe at Any Speed, arguing that many U.S. cars were dangerous to operate. Action was needed, and new legislation mandated the addition of seatbelts. What the restraint system has to do is actually to absorb the kinetic energy of the person inside the car, keeping his accelerations down as low as possible. From the very introduction of the seat belt, it became very obvious that if you're going to reduce injuries in accidents, you need to have some sort of measuring device. So by 1966, the car industry was on the lookout for a new, smarter dummy. The VIP, or Very Important Person dummy, was a revolution. At 170 pounds, he was a 50th percentile, meaning he weighed more than 50% of the U.S. population. He was armed with improved weight distribution, articulated joints, and a realistic pelvic structure, which for the first time allowed him to sit in a lifelike driving position. Now, with added instrumentation inside his steel rib cage, he could assist engineers in developing the three-point seat belt. The geometry of a seat belt system is important. The routing of the belts are important. The lap belt has to ride low so you can interact with your pelvic bone, so your pelvic bone helps to slow you down in the crash. In a similar fashion, the shoulder belt really should interact with your sternum um, and not your neck or not your abdomen. The VIP was a success. He helped prove lap belts alone were inefficient and dangerous and became part of the establishment as the first dummy written into U.S. car safety legislation. <laughs> 